From his Viking roots in Denmark to his impressive wins and unfortunate crashes, Kevin Magnuson has lived quite a life. But that's not all, because off the track, he has an impressive lifestyle, with multi-million dollar contracts and even his own business that brings in crazy dough. Join us as we look at Kevin Magnuson's incredible journey, his million dollar garage, home and lifestyle we can only dream of owning. Welcome to the F1 Wealthy Update, where we peel back the curtain and take a look at the glam lives of these speed demons. From their fat paychecks to their flashy rides and fancy lifestyles, we'll give you a VIP tour tour of these drivers. Live it up and spend their cash. First of all, let me tell you about the backstory of Kevin Jan Magnuson, or K-Mag as his friends call him. He was born on the 5th of October 1992 in the oldest town in Denmark, Roskilde. The town has a rich history that goes back to the Viking era, and Kevin is proud to be from there. From a young age, K-Mag had a passion for racing, and he started with karting. He was pretty impressive and won the NE's ICA Junior Kart Championship. He then transitioned to single-seater racing and won the Formula Ford Championship in Denmark in 2008, with 11 victories out of 15 races. Impressive, right? Kevin Magnussen continued his racing career, and in 2013, he won the Formula Renault 3.5 Championship finishing 60 points ahead of his runner-up. He had an amazing season with five victories, eight other podium finishes, and eight pole positions. However, as they say, with great success comes great challenges. K-Mag struggled with car crashes and realized the fickle nature of his profession. In 2016, Kevin Magnuson joined Renault, but it wasn't his best period in his career. He had a string of unpleasant events, including crashes and injuries, but K-Mag didn't let that hold him back. He signed with Haas for the 2017 season, replacing Esteban Gutierrez. Unfortunately, his suspension failed, and he had to withdraw from his first race in Australia. The 2018 season was better for the driver, finishing in 8th place twice. He finished the season with 20 points, 12 points ahead of his teammate Romain Grosjean. That's when Magnussen left Haas at the end of the 2020 season, but he returned in 2022 after Nikita Mazepin left the team. In his return, Kevin scored a top five finish at the Bahrain Grand Prix and finished ninth in the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. This shows that Kevin Magnussen's racing career has had its ups and downs, but he never let the challenges hold him back. Now let's take a peek into the life of Kevin Magnussen off the racetrack. You know what they say? Behind every successful race car driver, there's a beautiful wag. So the million dollar question is, who's the lucky lady to call Kevin her husband? Well, hold on to your hats, folks, because Kevin Magnussen is a happily married man. He popped the question to his gorgeous girlfriend, Louise Jorup, after the Mexican Grand Prix in October 2018. As you can imagine, being a successful racer means that Kevin and his lovely wife have traveled and moved around a lot, but Louise has been by Kevin's side through thick and thin, cheering him on through the highs and lows of his career. Back in 2021, Kevin and Louise welcomed their adorable daughter, Laura Magnuson, into the world. But that's not the only good news in Kevin's life in recent years. Oh no, Kevin Magnuson had a big break in 2022. Kevin signed a multi-year contract with the Haas F1 team, and he couldn't be happier. He was shocked when he got the call, but also super thrilled. I mean, who wouldn't be? It's like winning the lottery, but for race car drivers. Before he got the call, Kevin was considering a different path for his 2022 obligations. But when the opportunity to race in Formula One again with a team he knew well came along, he just couldn't resist. Or maybe it was the money. Who knows, but we won't judge him for it. Speaking of money, did you know that Kevin was already earning around $6 million last year? I mean, that's already more than most of us will earn in a lifetime. But now he's hit the jackpot with a new and improved salary of $7 million. Yes, you heard that right. $7 million. That's a big bump up from his previous contracts with McLaren and Renault, where he was only earning a measly $500,000. I don't know about you, but I think Kevin deserves every penny from Haas. But get this, that's only half of his gross annual income. Kevin is a major player in the endorsement game, and he's believed to earn around $1 million from brands like Jack and Jones and Omnicar. I mean, who wouldn't want Kevin as the face of their brand? He's got the looks and the talent to match. Speaking of endorsements, Kevin's F1 team, Haas, is also a major sponsor. They must really believe in him, and we can see why. But Kevin doesn't stop there. He's also got his own online business called KM20. I mean, is there anything this guy can't do? He sells hoodies, t-shirts, and mini helmets, and people can't seem to get enough of them. It's like he's a one-man merch machine. And get this, reports claim that Kevin earns about $6 million as a result of his businesses. 
I mean, that's just insane. It's like he's got the Midas touch, everything he touches turns to gold. But hey, we're not hating on Kevin's success. He's worked hard to get to where he is today, and we're happy to see him thriving. But the question that comes to mind is, where is this guy spending these hard-earned millions? Well, to answer that, we'll have to take a peek into his garage. As an F1 driver, it's no surprise that the 30-year-old owns some pretty fancy rides. He's got quite the garage filled with some of the most expensive and luxurious cars on the market. One of his most recent purchases is a Lamborghini Aventador, which he reportedly paid a whopping $1 million for. This car is a real beauty, with a V12 engine that can hit a top speed of 217 mm. It's definitely not a car for the faint of heart, but that's just the first one. Magnuson also owns a Bugatti Chiron, which costs a cool $3 million. This car is a real masterpiece, with a quad-turbocharged 8.0-liter W16 engine that can produce up to 1.479 horsepower. It's one of the fastest cars in the world, with a top speed of 304 mph. In addition to these high-end sports cars, Magnuson also has some more practical vehicles in his collection. He owns a $43,000 Volvo, EC60, which is a luxury SUV with all the bells and whistles. It's a great family car that's perfect for road trips or driving around town, and of course no car collection is complete without a Ferrari. Magnuson owns a Ferrari Portofino, which is a convertible sports car that's perfect for cruising around on a sunny day. This car is definitely a head-turner, with a sleek design and a powerful V8 engine. It must have cost him at least $240,000. Finally, Magnuson also has a Land Rover Discovery, which is a rugged SUV that's perfect for off-roading adventures. It's a versatile vehicle that can handle any terrain, and it's perfect for getting away from it all. And where does Kevin keep all these cars in his $10 million mansion? Where else? The Haas driver is living the life of luxury in a massive 6,900 square foot house in Roskilde, Denmark. But wait, there's more. The Danish driver also has a swanky apartment in Dubai where he's been spending most of his time lately. Talk about living the dream. I guess that's the life of a professional race car driver. Kevin loves being in the water as much he loves to be on the racetracks. When he's not tearing up the circuits, he's spending quality time with his loved ones and doing all sorts of fun stuff. For starters, the guy loves wakeboarding. He's also a fan of boat cruising with his friends and is often pictured having fun on a yacht or a boat. I can only imagine how cool that must be. And now the question you've all been waiting for, how much is the guy really worth? Well, according to latest figures and increments in his salary, Kevin Magnuson is currently worth a whopping $25 million. Can you even imagine having that kind of dough? But get this, even though he works for a midfield team with a limited budget, he's stayed loyal to them through thick and thin. I mean, that's pretty impressive, right? He may not have a ton of podiums under his belt, but he's definitely made a name for himself with some seriously impressive performances for the Haas F1 team. Anyway, back to the net worth thing. $24 million. Can you even fathom how much money that is? But you know what they say, money can't buy happiness, unless you're using it to buy a lifetime supply of pizza, of course. Which F1 character would you like to hear about next? let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it and also subscribe to my channel for your daily dose from the racing world. See you in the next one.